Country star Morgan Wallen topped the winner's list at the Billboard Music Awards last night. He took home a total of 11 awards, including top male artist, top country artist, and top country album. Taylor Swift, of course, made history by tying the record for the most awarded uh, artist in the show's history. She won 10 awards, including top female artist and top Hot 100 songwriter. So for more on this, we are joined by Cassie De uh, Delora. She's a correspondent for Entertainment Tonight. Thanks for joining hey, us. Cassie. Hey, Cassie. By the way, I like the look. Good morning. How are you both? Thanks for <laughs> having good. me. I'm good. I, we're like, I'm, I personally am liking your look today. I like it too. What? I didn't say I, <laughs> I like it too, no, Cassie. No, no, no. <laughs> but it's because we both got the same look. And oh, yeah, it looks yeah. good. Yeah. All right. All right. Both look good. <laughs> but also, don't let it fool you because I'm totally wearing pajama bottoms. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love this. You know how to do it. You know, how, you know how it goes on All live right. TV. Yeah, of course. Hey, you know, you work a long night. So let's talk about what happened last night. This year, uh, the show did not have a host yep. and instead rolled out its performances online. Can you talk about this approach and, you know, what was happening? What happened sort of behind the scenes to, to, to cause this move? Yeah, so traditionally when we see award shows like the Billboard Music Awards, it's, you know, one cohesive three hour long award show where there's live performances, you see interactions between all of the artists in the audience. It's before that there's a red carpet. It's almost like a half day experience. Well, it's no secret that in recent years, you know, award show ratings have declined. So the Billboard Music Awards wanted to take a different first of its kind approach this year, especially to, you know, maximize viewership amongst the younger demographic who may not have the attention span that we, traditionally we used to have where they would sit in front of the TV and watch for three hours. So what they did this year is they basically just posted clips of performances followed by award, award presentations on social media and also the website. So it was a very different approach. You basically clicked on the website, you watched a performance, and then you'd have to refresh the page and then see another clip uploaded a few minutes later. It was very, it was a very different approach. Um, usually, you know, normally I'm kind of on like an award show hangover from like a whole half day experience. Mm -hmm. And this one was, this one was very different. So let's talk about audience reaction. We used to do, uh, you know this, Cassie, uh, we, we call man on the street in journalism yeah. where you go and get reaction from people. But now we get our reaction from TikTok yeah. and Instagram and Twitter. And what were people saying? Because I guess saying? there's no ratings either. With the, well, exactly. Okay, and also it's weird right. to have to refresh your screen to watch like, you know, your favorite artist. So what were people saying? Mm -hmm. Well, that was some of the problem that people had is that they didn't realize you had to refresh. So you oh. sit there watching the performance and then you panic thinking, well, wait, what's next? When really behind the scenes, the Billboard Music Awards team is still uploading the next clip. So I even got confused at the very beginning too, because I was like, wait, this just took me back to a, 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 an interview that I've already seen. And then there's an ad playing and I'm like, wait, where am I in this show? Am I missing something? But I have to say, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok did not mince their words. Some people called it a disastrous fail. Some people said it was awful. But to be fair, change can be hard. It, huh. it may be something to get used to. But I really do think that, you know, if I was a betting woman, I don't think they're going to do this uh, next year. Because I do think that fans miss that traditional, like I said, half-day experience where you're watching your favorite artists do red carpet interviews. You're seeing the fashion. You're seeing everything that happens when all of the artists are gathered together. I think that's what makes award shows so fun. You also like to sit there and watch, and the winner is. You know, yeah. there's something exciting about that, and and that we were missing this year. Well, it's, tr it's true that, you know, on one hand, legacy media is struggling because a lot of mm -hmm. award shows, Cassie, you know this better than anybody, have struggled to make the ratings that they made, mm -hmm. you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. And yet, when they do try to evolve and try something else, the few hardcore fans that are like, out there. What was that? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> are not happy about that. So that's interesting. Um, yeah. We talked about Morgan Wallen. What about Drake and Taylor? I mean, Drake, like, cleaned up too. So actually, Morgan, uh, this year with his 11 wins, it's the most in one year since Drake received 12 back in 2019. Wow. Drake only won Drake only won five this year, and he wasn't really <laughs> <Only>. included uh, <laughs> in in the show. I know only five, I should, but Morgan Morgan did have a, have a big, 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 big night, which was huge for him because earlier this month he was, you know, what some people call snubbed by the Grammys. He also went empty. He went home empty handed from the Country Music Awards. And he actually uh, acknowledged that in his acceptance speech saying, 
at the CMAs earlier this month, he didn't take home any trophies, and now he doesn't have enough hands to take home his mm -hmm. 11. But it was really no surprise him taking home that many wins because this past year, I mean, he broke record after record after record when it comes to the Billboard charts. So right. that was no surprise there. But uh, also, right. like you guys you big night for Taylor. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, Cassie Delora, love having you on. Thanks for getting up with us this Thank morning. You. Thank you so much.